A recent spate of Canada goose coat thefts could be the start of a new luxury crime wave. The coats, which can be sold for as much as £1,700, have been targeted by robbers across the country, resulting in cars being broken into, pedestrians being attacked, neighbours stealing from one another and even the threat of knives. Last week, two 16-year-old boys were arrested after a violent confrontation at Elmstead Woods train station in Chislehurst, Kent, where a man was punched repeatedly as assailants tried to pull off his coat. Footage of the incident shows the victim trapped against the wall as he is battered and kicked before he manages to escape along the platform. The British Transport Police said that two teenagers who were arrested over the Elmstead Woods incident have since been released on bail. People have been commenting on the video. Why is no one helping? Well, I wouldn't blame anyone in the slightest for not getting involved. There's clearly a high level of violence being used against this victim. And if somebody isn't physically able, is not well-equipped, trained in a martial arts, for example, then they could, by getting involved, make a bad situation worse. And of course, in this day and age, with rising knife crime, somebody could get involved and suddenly find that they've been stabbed. So please, gather whatever evidence you can on your mobile phone, for example, but unless you are physically fit physically capable, trained in restraint techniques. Do not get involved and do not make a bad situation worse. Think of your own safety. In Norway, a young British woman filmed herself confronting a man at a train station who she claimed had stolen her Canada goose coat from outside storage facility at her flat. And yet another TikTok user posted this video in December with the caption, Don't die for Canada goose. As you can see, it appears the man had been slashed in the face while defending his coat. In Washington, D.C., the police have advised people to buy air tags in order to track their stolen coats. Air tags are small tracking devices that can be placed on just about anything to track its whereabouts, which is all well and good. But if you do track your stolen coat to a particular and known address, I don't want you knocking on the door. And are the police going to be able to go to that address to enter and potentially retrieve your coat and possibly arrest an offender? I'm not sure they will. The trend of robbing luxury items isn't new. More than £50 million worth of watches were reported stolen in London in 2022. Where the thefts of Canada Goose may appear to be more opportunistic, organised crime gangs employ a range of tactics to get their hands on the gold around your wrists. So... How do we deal with this? Well, this really, really hurts me to say this. Because if you've worked hard, you've been successful, of course, you should be able to wear whatever watch or whatever coat you want. But I don't want you becoming a victim of crime. And this really ties my stomach in knots to have to say it. But please, perhaps, for the time being, leave that expensive watch at home and choose a less expensive coat. I am so sorry that I had to say that.